All right, so right now I haven't been on social media for a while. I've been taking a break, uh, taking care of my life. But I wanted to share personal stories with you and uh, give some hope at the end of this video for those who are suffering from mental health, uh, depression, anxiety, and all the other mental diseases and disorders and all the other things that people suffer from. So at the height of my depression, I wasn't eating, I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't drinking anything. I was, um, I was suffering, and um, I had no recourse. I had nowhere to look. I had nowhere to look to, no one to um, fall back on, no one to look up to, the inspiration to get me out of that dark corner, that dark sort of personal how, not the religious how, but the personal how that's going through the pain. Um, what I'm trying to say is, uh, it does get better, but my recommendation is that um, you don't give up. And um, my first recommendation for anyone who's suffering from depression, whether it's mild, moderate, or severe, um, is only take antidepressants if it's prescribed by your doctor. But that would never be my first recommendation. Always try natural remedies, not cures, remedies and healing, like uh, cannabis, um, herbs, supplements, vitamins. Only take, only take antidepressants at a lot of people. If you try herbs, supplements, vitamins, and uh, whatever other health things. I would never recommend to anyone any kind of medication because of the side effects to anyone, even though I take antidepressant myself. It helps for me, but it may not help for you. So what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to give you natural, the natural stuff that you can buy at the store and have it shipped to you, to you, uh, to your door. So you don't have to suffer side effects like I did. Um, but the third year, not the second, but the third year, uh, I remember I was just crying and uh, I, I knew eventually there would become the light at the end of the tunnel. The fog would be left and I would get better. But um, there's there, there, there certain things that come from struggling. You know, you have to struggle to get to where you want to be. You have to struggle to get to the best part. It may sound weird, but you really do. It, life isn't easy. It doesn't, doesn't come up with trouble soon that you're like rich or something and you never suffered any tragedies or any sort of family illnesses, die, death or anything like that. Then yeah, you're not going to know what depression is like. You're not going to know what, how sad uh, what I went through or what you, you're currently going through. So, um, but anyway, um, I remember I wasn't eating, I wasn't drinking anything because I had no energy. And um, so uh, my mother got in trouble, I'm not going to say exactly what, but uh, 2014, um, 15, she got arrested because she did something wrong. And um, so that took me into depression, first, second, third, and fourth year. About three and a half, four years I suffered nonstop. And uh, she got out in like four or five months because the judge said that, um, the judge knew that I was disabled and she could kill me. So anyway, um, she got out and uh, I told her about it. And uh, she took me to the doctor. The doctor said, um, you have depression. I was like, okay, so what do I, what do I got to take? So I believe, if I remember correctly, he put me on Prozac. And I tried Prozac or something else with the end. I don't I'm not really sure. Prozac gave me short out of thought, so I stopped taking Prozac. Might, it might have been, been Lexapro, I'm not sure, which is what I currently take. 
for any other person. But I wouldn't recommend it to you if that's what I think myself. I wouldn't recommend Luxembourg to you, but I hope me. Um, but I took, uh, uh, no, Nexium was the end one that I took for uh, acid reflux. I think uh, jumping out for acid reflux now it works, works really good. Um, first or second, I can't remember which one it was, but it was uh, Prozac. I think it was the first one that the doctor recommended to me. And uh, worked for a while, like two weeks. And then it was giving me horrible suicidal thoughts, so I stopped taking it. And I believe it was the second medication I took. I took one uh, before that. And um, I, I don't, I don't, it might have been the first one, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, I took Prozac and that didn't work. And then I got put on uh, Lexapro. And that's the one that told me the most. But I recommend natural remedies for you guys because I don't know what you guys are going through. I'm not a medical health professional, and I don't want you guys to suffer from horrible side effects from prescription drugs and uh, opiates and things like that. You guys can take whatever you want. I'm not telling you guys what to take or not to take. Take whatever you want, but I would not recommend uh, prescription drug that was recommended for depression. Um, I will offer some tips. Here's what I do. Okay, so there's a video game. I'm playing a video game right now. Find a hobby that you like. Find something you will get at. Get will get at it. Real good. If you love to do it, continue to do it. Exercise. Diet. That's what I'm doing. I say, uh, I, uh, I ate roast beef and potatoes last night. Mashed potatoes. Yeah, that's pretty good. So maybe change your diet. Maybe drink more water. Uh, maybe exercise more depending on your age. Depending on your energy. Um, maybe, I don't know. Uh, Try different things, combination. Try exercise in one week. Try changing your diet a little bit the next. Find different hobbies. Maybe it's reading. Maybe it's watching YouTube videos. Maybe it's uh, social media. Maybe it's um, reading a book. Maybe it's driving a car. Maybe it's riding a bike one week. Maybe it's listening to music all week and just laying in your bed. Maybe you're just sad over something or maybe you're you're depressed because something died, maybe a cat died, your dog died. Yes, that is very sad and very tragic, and it does happen. But I will offer some hope. It may take a while, but things do get better. It may take a while. It's going to be a lot slower than usual. Probably going to take months and maybe years, depending on how bad you've been suffering and how much pain you've been going through. If it's been years, then I don't know the right remedy or natural substance for you to take. I can recommend hemp seed, I can recommend tamsin oil, cannabis, something natural that doesn't have side effects, something that you can take right away that doesn't have side effects. I would never recommend to anyone who's suffering from severe depression prescription drugs. That would not be my first recommendation. Three reasons. One, because I'm not a medical health professional. Two, I don't know enough about health. And three, I don't know enough about nutrition and how it works in order to recommend prescription drugs anyway. And I'm not a doctor, four. And five, I'm not an obsessive mental health not. So I can't recommend prescription drugs even though I take it. Even though I take and then I depress it which I said earlier, I take lots of pro. Um, but I, I can't recommend it for other people because I don't want other people to suffer through the horrible side effects to get to the better part of bluffing, their depression, bipolar, OCD, anxiety, whatever they happen to suffer. So I want, I recommend you guys natural remedy to take instead of prescription drugs. 
for you guys on the stage, not, not me. I'll take what's working with me and you guys can take whatever you guys want to take. So it may take a while for you to get better, but you will get better. It may take a while. It may take a few months, four months, six months, eight months, a year. Um, it may take longer than that. But you will get better slowly over time. That fog will look. You know how you're now your eyes and you're like kind of like confused fog like and you have no energy and no drive you have no motivation and then when then my next uh, tip find meaning whether that's job whether that's hobby whether that's something you get paid to do maybe you love your job maybe you want to find another job maybe you want to start a business maybe you want to sell products maybe you want to sell a service Hey, whatever it is, find something you love and stick with it. Stick with it and keep doing it. Keep getting better. Keep improving. Keep try to be happy. I'm not saying you will be happy, but don't pretend to be happy when you're not happy. Don't hold your tears in. If, if you can, try, but don't. Just let it all go out. Clean yourself out and then pick yourself up, pick yourself back up and then keep going. The the number one the number one thing I can recommend is don't ever give up. Because during my height of my CBU depression, I kept going even though I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to eat, I didn't want to sleep, I didn't want to shower, I didn't want to drink anything. I just cried all the time, nonstop. But I knew there would be a break. There would be some sort of light at the end of the tunnel, which I did not give up. So I, I knew one day I would get better. I didn't know when, how long I'd suffer, how long, how bad it was, until after I got better. And I looked back and I'm a cold crap. It really is bad. And, um, but I suffered for the wrong reasons, but I'm better now. I'm a lot better now than what I was, oh, well, almost five years. Almost five years. 2019 will be five years since I first started the phase of severe depression and uh, severe, um, severe, not mild or moderate depression to be um but anyways um yeah you you're gonna struggle in life life life's tough life's difficult life is never meant to be easy there's gonna be challenges there's gonna be obstacles there's gonna be things thrown away there's gonna be people manipulating you maneuvering you telling you this telling you that i'm not here to tell you how to live your life i'm not here to tell you what what to take, what to eat, what to drink. I'm a cheater to offer help. I'm a cheater to offer you hope. That I believe in natural substances way more than a antidepressant. Even though I take antidepressant myself, I believe there are for the less side effects, if any, more of an opportunity for everyone else to use, and uh, the less time for it to be uh, less time for it to take in order for it to work. So it will work a lot faster than an antidepressant. Um, so not all young people are selfish. Uh, I'm going to be 29 in 10 days, the 17th. So I hope that your opinion of me may, be, it may not be perfect, it may not be what I think it may be, you may think people like me are uh, naive. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what your opinion of people 30 and under or 30 and over. But I am completely separate from people of my generation that were born. I didn't party in high school. I didn't go to parties in high school. I didn't date any women. I didn't pull on women. 
you know, I cut myself peel. I cut myself sexually peel, means no involvement whatsoever. Because I know I didn't want to screw up. I didn't want to cause myself severe consequences on down the road of screwing up and having kids. And possibly going into depression because I had unwanted sexual contact with this woman or that woman because I knew that if that would have happened and I would have had a kid, then uh, there would be severe consequences because um, it would be with a woman that doesn't care. It would be with a woman that doesn't love me. It would be a woman who just wanted one thing that, you know, I perfectly, you know, chosen uh, to find the right woman, you know, to not only have kids with, but also to have a relationship with. Her. Because I know if I find the right person, I won't be depressed, I won't be suicidal, I'll be happy with them, and I will be able to create a family with them. And that was about when I was 16, 17, 18, around that age. I, I was thinking long term ahead when I was about 16, 17. I was thinking like five, 10 years down the road. I was planning it out, I was like, okay, I was like, okay, Mark, you have to pick the right partner to make with. You cannot selectively choose this person because you like them or choose this person because you're attracted to them. You have to find the right person. They don't have to be the most gorgeous. They don't have to be most prettiest. They don't have to have the best body. They don't have to have the best this, best that. Just the person who loves you for you. And uh, so the reason why I avoided sex altogether is because I wanted to wait. Not for marriage, but with the right person. So also in depression too, um, during those three, four years, I was lonely and I I, I never fooled around with anyone. Uh, when I was younger, when I was about uh, 18, 19, I think, I kissed one girl on the cheek. I didn't do anything with her. I didn't grab her. I didn't touch her. It's, it's on my Facebook somewhere. And I I didn't do anything with her. I just, I think we were just having fun and we were just, I I don't know, maybe I did it. I can't, I can't even remember. But, um, yeah, I never had any sort of sexual contact with any woman. Now, there were several high school that I liked. There were several in my school that I was attracted to in a loving way, but I heard rumors about them that made me change my mind to where I didn't want. I still was attracted to them as from male, from a male point of view to a female, but it, it, was, it was in a loving way, not in a sexual way. So what I was trying to do is I was trying to put together a plan at like 17, 18 of what my future would be like. And um, having a kid with the wrong woman was totally a thing with me. Um, that was the biggest thing for me. That was, I wasn't worried about it. I was just caught it, you know, and carefully choose the right person, carefully. Like, I mean, like, extremely, not severely or moderate, or mild or moderate, but severely, selectively pick the right woman. Anyway, um, so uh, I, was, I was lonely during my depression, height, height of my depression, during when I was divorced. And I had no woman, I had no woman to lean on to, I, I still don't know. Um, but as far as overall in general, if I were to compare now to when I wasn't eating, drinking, sleeping, showering, um, anything, a lot better, a lot, 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 lot better, way better. Clarity of thought, uh, ideas 
come and go ideas coming out of uh, mental health uh, still just the best it ain't, it ain't always gonna be the best but as far as overall thought and overall clarity of thought and just thinking better and uh, happiness is 100% better so it is gonna get better depression will get the better for you guys uh, bipolar Again, I don't know enough about bipolar or schizophrenia, so I can't recommend anything for those. I can't recommend anything for um, Alzheimer's. I don't know enough about Alzheimer's. Um, I don't know enough about schizophrenia, bipolar, Alzheimer's, or Parkinson's. Um, but I know enough about depression because I suffer. So um, I want to recommend natural remedies and natural supplement, supplements and herbs and other things. So um, Rick Simpson Oil, uh, if you haven't looked that up, R I C K S I M P S O N Oil. Hemp, H E M P. OIL hemp oil or hemp or cannabis, you know, like marijuana. Um, and things I've probably never seen and never heard of and never seen in my life uh, out there on the internet that can be shipped right to your front door and you can use it right away. That doesn't mean it's going to have, doesn't mean that it's going to have a uh, effect right away, you know, it within a few hours or a few days. It's going to take a while to affect you. But a lot faster than the antidepressant or prescription drug that have uh, uh, side effects and other sort of mixtures with different things that uh, aren't good for you. And if you mix this with that, and you get a lot of uh, a lot of different things that could go wrong and um, could uh, could go wrong and could. Uh, or deadly if if taken to the dream. So I'm gonna avoid recommending prescription drugs altogether to any of you, no matter what you suffer. Um, but no matter what you suffer, especially depression, anxiety, or anything else, I have this last message I wanna deliver, and then I'm gonna get off, and I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play this. The video game, Destiny 2. I hope that you all get better. Oh, hold on. I hope that you all get better if you're suffering from anything. Bipolar, schizophrenia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson, OCD, anxiety, depression, and many others. I hope that you all get better. I hope that you guys find something natural. I hope that you guys find something that works for you. If it is an AI depression, um, I hope that works for you too. If you can avoid prescription drugs, great. But if it's the last resort kind of thing and you have to take it and it's recommended by your doctor and you feel like taking it, I don't know what to say. I, I, I can't make that decision for you. I can't make that choice for you. Um, I would recommend try it, but I would recommend first, first, natural. Then the last resort is the uh, prescription drug, the antidepressant, or whatever else, you know, much relaxers or, um, you know, anti-anxiety medications if you have severe anxiety, you have panic attacks, and all that stuff. So if you have anxiety, I have anxiety because I'll give you a quick story. So when I was younger, I was eating rice, and um, I took too big of a bite, and I swallowed the, swallowed the rice, and it got stuck in my throat. And um, I went to, I ran to the uh, refrigerator. I, I, can't, I can't remember how old I was, but um, I ran to the refrigerator. I got a water, and I tried drinking the water. And um, 
So I ran out to the living room and I went like this because I was funny because I, I, I couldn't talk. I had my stuck in my throat. And apparently my mom, after it was all done and over, she said my lips were like kind of like purple or whatever, some, a different color than this. Anyway, I was cleaning out my throat because I couldn't breathe and I, I was choking. So um, my dad did the Heimlich maneuver when I was like, when I was younger and got it out. Thank God. And um, and that's what I suffered from from way, way, way when I was younger, way younger. I was like eight, nine, was like eight, nine, ten, eleven, around that age. And I suffered ever since. I'm I'm not talking about mild anxiety or moderate, but I'm talking severe, like really bad panic, panic attack. Doesn't happen all the time, but um. They do happen. Even still to this day, I don't know. I don't know how to like get over, get over it, or how to relieve myself of it. I just take medication, and the anxiety attack go away. I don't want to take the medication. I don't want to have the panic attack at all. But they do happen, and they they do. They are bad. Uh, like uh, I get like butterflies in my stomach. I get really nauseated. And my 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 arm shakes, and um, everything shakes when I have anxiety attacks. But anyways, um, depression. Again, I suffered three and a half, four years of it, nonstop. Nonstop crying, wasn't eating, wasn't drinking, wasn't showering, wasn't cleaning myself, wasn't taking care of myself, wasn't doing anything, wasn't playing video games, wasn't having fun. Wasn't having a social life, wasn't doing this, wasn't doing that. But at the three and a half, four year mark, uh, my mom took me to the doctor. Doctor, I believe, yeah, 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 he did. Um, he diagnosed me with depression. I didn't know I had it. I thought I had like FJD, seasonal affect disorder. Like I was just, it was just seasonal, it was just, just a one time thing. No, I thought it was I thought it was just that. But now we asked you that don't be depression to be. But anyways, I got put on a couple of medications that didn't work and then I got put on Lexapro and that has helped me ever since. And uh, I continue to take it till the day. But my plan hold on. Uh, I'm going to show you guys something that I'm getting off. I'm going to take this. Organifi. But I want to recommend this to you guys if you guys want to take it too. Not saying you have to, but <clears throat> to get up or something. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, my last message is this and then I'll get off. It does get better. It may take a while. It may take a while. But again, it does get better. 
Hey, Amen. <clears throat> we bless you all who suffer from depression and anxiety. Yeah, I'm really sorry that you're suffering. I really hope that you get better. And uh, I really hope that all of you who are suffering now will continue to suffer. We'll get better. You'll get the right treatment. And you'll get the right remedy. And you'll start healing. And you'll start getting better. Bye. Thank you all for stopping by. Hope you all get better with whatever you're dealing with. It's a day-by-day -day progress. Hope you all get better. Bye now. Take care. Bye-bye.